It's easy to overwork if you're conscientious. Are you a conscientious person? Are you overworking to achieve all of your goals? If you are, you stand a good chance of burning out. Uh oh. Like this national park did. Stay with us, we're going to talk about burnout. Well, welcome to the home place. I'm Paul, this is Carolyn, and we are back here in Waterton Lakes National Park up here in Alberta, Canada. And the sad thing about this park, if you watched our video a few mm -hmm. weeks ago, is September a couple of years ago, a forest fire came through and wiped out. We're right in the area where the fire came through. It's not even open to vehicles at this point. It's uh, open to bikers and hikers. Yeah, and we we've done probably, I don't know, 15 miles of biking to get to this spot. And right where we're filming here, the seat has been burned yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, the this sign, is like a little overlook. Yeah, the sign is gone. So what's this got to do with you and I? You know, if you're conscientious, especially in religious things, and you see a lot of things that need doing, maybe it's training children, mm -hmm. maybe it's your responsibilities at church, um, maybe just responsibilities in the family, mm -hmm. we can push and work and push and we end up getting late nights and early mornings and late nights and early mornings and then we skip a meal and we what happens to us well we get burned out and when we're doing good things everybody pats us on the back because we're doers we are doing 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 until somebody somewhere keels over and they're done right because right. they got burned out so i know my dear wife got burned out at one stage, probably four and or five pretty, years ago. I pretty much told her, I'm not careful, I will be done. Yeah, it was in this national it park, was. if you remember. We were camping here and we had to leave and go home because Carolyn was just, even the hair rubbing on her skin was freaking her out. That's how burned out she was. That was back in 2010 oh, or something. A while um, back. But we convinced ourselves that since we were working hard for God, the burnout... It was okay, and it, God would mop up for that and make up for Yeah, it. he would kind of protect us. But we learned the sad reality is that... Well, it got worse. Yeah, it doesn't... Until basically it was, if you don't quit, you may be quit forever. So it doesn't really matter what work you're doing, God's work, you've still got the same body. And if, the, if you're being intemperate with just pushing, pushing and pushing and never getting any rest, then... It doesn't matter if you're doing God's work or not God's work. The body just can't keep up and eventually it starts to break down. And Jesus and his disciples got into this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to read that for yeah, us? It's Mark, Mark 6, 31. Mark 6, 31. And he said to them, come aside by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going and they did not even have time to eat. Ever been in that situation? You're right. a mom and you're so super busy with those little people. You make sure they're all good and you don't get to eat yourself. Yeah, so Jesus recognized that his disciples that he was with 24-7 were getting burned out. But they were doing a grand work. <laughs> but right. even then Jesus said, no, you got to rest. You got to come apart into some quiet place and rest and let the body rejuvenate. It's not that we have right. to stop. The, the body needs to rest. Right. And, and you know, just like, just like this national park with the burnout, the burnout leaves scars. And even though if time should last, this part will recover to, to some degree, there will still be the scars of this, this burnout that went through. So it depends, but, it depends how deep you go in the burnout. If right. you really get burned out and then you say no and you, you pull back for a while and you get your strength up, the scar might remain with you for life. Right. If you just overdone it if for a year or two. If your life remains. Yeah. The other thing I wanted to bring up is, you know, some people have a lot of constitution. Some people call it vital force. Um, and they can push and push and push and their body can cope with it. I think I was blessed with a constitution yeah. like that. Yeah. 
but others not not anybody's better than anybody else but well others, like for me with Lyme disease that we didn't know for all those years well that was eating away at your constitution and we just didn't understand so you might look at somebody and say well they can do it I can do it no they might have a stronger constitution than you you don't try and compare ourselves among right. ourselves right. a couple of quotes well before you get there yeah. I just wanted to say so with with that burnout as Jesus said, come apart and rest a while. What does that do? Well, here's the thing with this national park. It's kind of resting. Yes. This part of the park is definitely resting. It's we've, closed. <laughs> we've probably seen 50 people today. That's all. It's right. just been very quiet, not much going on. But beautiful flowers, right. absolutely gorgeous. And they look even more beautiful because they're on the backdrop of burnout. Yeah. So I think as we rest, as Jesus said, Beauty comes back in spite of the burnout. And there may be a few scars there, but there's also beauty that comes. So what you're saying then, burnout is not like the end. No. It's just a well, warning. Well, it can be. And we know people yeah, who true. it has been the end. Right. The thing is, this national park, all this that got burned up, happened in one day. Right. But for us as humans, it doesn't happen right. in one day. If you work hard for a week you're not going to burn out. If you work hard for six months, you're probably not going to burn out. But if you do it year after year after year, eventually you will get to the point where you're not really, you can't function properly because your system is starting to shut down. Right. And, and this is a really hard situation because especially if you are getting burned out on God's business. Yeah. Then, then how do you pull back from because that? Because everybody's telling you you're doing a fantastic and wonderful thing. And it's almost like if you die through that work, you were a hero. I don't believe that God views it that no, way. No, 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 not at it's all. It's not, we're not, here's that's some, not, here, we're not supposed to do that. Here's some quotes. This is Daughters of God. Maybe you should read that. I'll Daughters read of one. God. <laughs> Those who overwork soon reach the place where they work in a hopeless way. Ever been there where you're just going and going, but you're kind of treading water, yeah. spinning your wheels, and you're not really going anywhere because you're burned out. Here, here's another quote. This is from Adventist Home. It says, you cannot overwork in any line without becoming, listen to this, this is pretty serious. You cannot overwork in any line without becoming disqualified for the work of training your little ones and making them what God would have them be. Wow. Disqualified. So if we work, 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 and we just don't stop, stop, we and, just go, and... go, go, we disqualify ourselves. <laughs> you cannot work in any line because so you're burned out. It doesn't matter. Well, without becoming disqualified for the work of training your little ones. So you cannot overwork. So it doesn't matter what you're overworking doing, whether it's overworking to have a clean house right. and have a tidy home and have obedient children and have, you know, all these meals made for your hubby when he comes home and you overdo and overdo and overdo. It doesn't matter which one of those you do it will be detrimental to the children. Well, and some people wear out their body. Right. And other people, and this would be probably where I would come in, we work our brain too much. Right. And we don't get physical exercise. And so, you know, that that breakdown, the emotions start breaking down and the reasoning starts breaking down. So, hey, this is, we're, we're not condemning anybody. Because we have seriously been there. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're workers, we're doers. And we this is why we're sharing with you because we've so, come to the edge of this burnout. Right. And so we've got to learn to bypass it. So we're just giving you so a heads up. So what is the solution? The solution is rest. Now, God gave us every seventh day to rest but many of us involved in ministry we work on the in seventh fact, day as well the sabbath is our busiest work that's day. <laughs> right so if you're in ministry and you end up working when everybody else is resting um that's not good you or need to find you're another day in church with all kinds of responsibilities yeah but you need to rest you when nominating committee comes around don't feel like i have to say yes to everything you've seen as well as i have people who say yes to everything at nominating committee then give them a year and they burn out and they don't want any jobs next year because they're burnt <laughs> out so you gotta have proper rest so just take it to the lord just kneel to, down to a place like this yeah just kneel down and say lord am i overworking now the mind can play tricks and it's like yeah i've taken the trash out twice this week i'm overworking <laughs> we're not talking about that you know we're talking about serious overworking there's not time to eat 
you're ending up getting to bed late and getting up early and it's been going on for a while. <laughs> that's, that's burnout. That's funny. I just got to say that comment is for the six-year-olds that are watching this program <laughs> who have done the trash twice this week. You are not on burnout, okay? <laughs> and ask other people. You know, you explain your itinerary, your, your schedule and see if they think you're burning out. That, that's always a help because sometimes our minds can play tricks on us. So God bless. We hope you enjoyed. Just a little reminder. We didn't tell you anything you didn't know, but <laughs> hey, we desperately do not want you to burn out. So get on your knees, talk to the Lord and find out where you are. This was Paul and Carolyn from The Home Place. God bless till we see you next time. <laughs>